In this tutorial in CyberLink PowerDirector, I'd like to show you how you can import PowerPoint slides into your project. We're going to be using the new interface in PowerDirector as of fall 2023. And the process I'm going to show you comes as a result of some advice I've got from one of my great subscribers, Mr. Don Joyce. So let's see how easy it is to import PowerPoint slides. All you do is go into the media room. I'll do control Q, which is my favorite key. Take me to the file menu I want to go to. And in the file explorer, I'll click on the PowerPoint slides and click on open. It will take each of them and pull them into my project. What I'm going to do now is take the slides that I want. I'm going to take all of them except the last one, which is black and drag them into a timeline. Now here's a suggestion that I have. Because I'm going to add transitions between the slides, I'd like the slides temporarily to be on their own track. So I'm going to take them and drag them and put them in track number two. And here I have my slides. The next thing that I want to do is add transitions. So I'm going to go to the transitions room and click on the My Content and then the subcategory of my favorites. One of mine is fade, I'll click on that. I could drag the transition between each slide, but the shortcut is to take this icon, the rightmost one above the timeline, and this will apply this to every single slide on this track. So that's why I separated it temporarily on one track. I'll click there and it will apply it. I'm going to do a cross transition and there we have the transitions. If you look and we play this, we're going to see a nice fade between one and the other. But I look and I see, hmm, that's a little bit long for a transition, given the size of the slide. So all I need to do is click on each of them. I'll hold the shift key down and click on each transition that I happen to have. Then let's make them uniform. I'm going to click on my clock icon above the timeline. And instead of four seconds, I'm going to go to zero. And you notice the minimum is two frames. Don likes 10. I'm, I'm going to click on 10 and click on OK. So we have 10 frame transition between each of these slides. Let's see how this looks. Just a nice little quick fade between slide one, two, and three. So what we're going to do in this case, let's assume we want to lengthen the duration of the slide on the screen. I'm going to take it, go back to my clock. Let's say instead of five seconds, we want it to be seven. On earlier versions of PowerDirector, when you did this, it would change the duration of the transition on the end. But notice if I hover over this, it's still 10 frames. So that's a new feature the Don likes that I wanted to highlight in this particular version of PowerDirector. So now, no matter how long the transition, the actual slide is on the screen, the transitions will be whatever you set them to. And again, you can take any transition you want to, just click on it, click on the clock, and modify the transition itself. Say we want this one to be 15 frames, click Enter, and it will widen the transition or make it slower. And that's what we've done in this particular case. So that's one way in which you can apply the simple principle of adding slides. Now what I, I would do in this case, uh, let's make sure we can see everything on the screen. I'll take these and I would drag them and put them on my main timeline if that's what I wanted to do. And to insert and move. And now I have them with the transitions on the same track as my other elements. So that's a tip about working with PowerPoint in PowerDirector 2024 or 365.